Okay. Residents, you are once again welcome to my channel, DR Flamingo LL Lawson. But before we begin today's lesson, let's take these quick reminders. Please kindly subscribe if you have not still done that. And you can drop your comments. You can even propose certain videos or video lessons that you want us to do for you. That is also fine. And also, when you go to my channel, visit the playlist. So within the playlist, we have these topics arranged according to the subjects. So when you take general mathematics, we have a series of math topics. When you take chemistry, we have a series of chemistry topics. So please always visit the playlist, right? Good. We've packaged them nicely. Thank you. We will be looking at a physics topic today. Density and relative density. Density and relative density. Now, we will first start with density. Now, what is density? Defined as the mass per unit volume of a substance. So, mathematically, that is a mass over volume. So, define density. If you define density in this way, it is still correct. We are doing mathematics, not English. So, it's, it's accepted. Good. Math is science. Science is math, right? The SI unit for density is kilogram per cubic meter. Good. Now, we have some conversions we'll be looking at. 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. 1 gram per cm cube equals 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Now, 1 million centimeter cube equals 1 meter cube. So, these are the parameters we'll be using. Now, let's look at this sample question. A block of mass 2 grams has a volume of 15 centimeter cube. Determine the density of the block in gram per cm cube and then kilogram per cubic meter. So, let's see. So, let's look at the solution to this question. A block of mass, so there's a mass, 2 grams, has a volume of 15 centimeter cube. Volume, 15 centimeter cube. Determine the density of the block in gram per cm cube. So, I'm supposed to determine the density in gram per cm cube and also determine another one again, the same density in kilogram per cubic meter. That's a standard, that is not standard. Good. So density. Equals question mark. Good. So density equals mass over volume. Now what is my mass? My mass is 2 grams and my volume is 15 centimeter cube. Now, when you punch 2 over 15, what are you going to get? 2 over 15, 0 0.133, right? Good. So 0 0.133. Now this is gram. This is, let me, let me put it here, 0 0.133. This is the gram. Now there is a partition sign, and there is a cm cube. Good. So I have calculated and I've left my answer in gram per cm cube. Now this thing you see is the same as this. When you move this partition sign, you bring a minus here, right? Good. So the next one, so easy. Calculate and leave your answer in this way. We are going to use a parameter that is very short. But one gram per cm cube, please don't change the parameter. Because 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. You see, this is 1,000 grams plus 1 kilogram. The fact that you see 1,000 grams or 1 kilogram here does not mean that this should also be 1,000 grams per cm cube. Once you see this volume term, it means the cm cube is under this G. Certain translations have gone on, that is how come we had here 1. So the fact that you see 1,000 grams does not mean this should also be 1,000. Please know. So let's go. Let's have a convert. Then, if this equals this, so how do we use this parameter? If you want to end up in kilogram per cubic meter, let this part of the parameter be on the right. If you want to end up in gram per cm cube, circumvent it so that this part will be on the right, then you end there. That is it. So let's go. Then, 0 0.133 gram per cm cube will give me 0 0.133 gram per cm cube. This will come and die every day because of this approach I'm using. Times what? 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. So this and this will go over, as you can see. Now, 0 0.133 times 1,000. That's 133, 133.33 1, 
kilogram per cubic meter. So that is what you are going to get for the density, right? So it's true. Calculate and leave your answer in this form. I've done that. Calculate and leave your other answer so in this form. I've also done that. Now we can also have some alternative to this. What if I don't want to use that parameter? Then I have to go a long way. Okay, let's look at that. Go. So, that is it. So it's very short, very easy to use this approach. Always remember the parameter. This, that's very easy. Now what if you want to change them term by term? Change a gram, change volume. What is the essence of this? It looks very lengthy. That is very true. But it helps. At least, it will help you to even know how to convert certain things. There are some questions that you need to maintain one. Maybe this can be in kilogram. You just need to convert this volume. So you see, you still have to learn this method. So let's look at the alternative. So, the mass here is 2 grams. But 1000 grams equals 1 kilogram. Then, 2 grams will give me this. You see, always. Remember what I told you? So this is what I'm going to get. Now, 2 over 1000 will give you 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. So please, when you are working out and you plunge a calculator and you happen to get something in the standard form, it's okay. Don't try to convert it to the common form. You can still use it, right? Good. So this is the same as you getting 0 0.002 kilogram. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. So it's the same thing, as you can see. Now let's look at the volume. The volume happens to be 15 centimeter cube. So I am doing the alternative for the II, the second one. The volume happens to be 15 centimeter cube. But we know that 1 million centimeter cube is equal to 1 meter cube. Then, what will 15 centimeter give me? So before you do, make sure on the left, the units are the same on the left, as you can see. You see, before you convert. Because you can't be doing the conversion and the meter cube is here, once the CM cube is here, no. It should be the same, right? Then you go this way. Then 15 will give me what? As if there's more divides. So to speak. Good. We're going to get this. By one meter cube. So it goes off. It goes off. You see, I'll end up getting a meter cube. Or something, a gram goes off. Gram goes off. I end up getting a kilogram. That's what you see. So when you code that parameter, make sure what you're going to change is on the same unit on one side, maybe the left, right? Good. Now, what are you going to get for this? When you divide this by this, what are you going to get? So that's 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube, what you see. Or it's going to be 0 0.000015 meter watt cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's right. So. I have to calculate my density. So density equals mass over what? Volume. Density. Now what is my mass? 2 times 10 to the power minus 3. Please, anytime you are working in standard forms, try and put the standard forms in brackets on the calculator. It can jam up. So you put this in brackets on the calculator before you go divide the denominator also in brackets. Good. You have to understand how the calculator works. It's very important. So, when you put this together, you get this answer. The same answer you see there. Good. Good. So, this one looks lengthy, but it's very good. Because when it happens that you just have to change one parameter, that is what you have to do. If you have to change just this, you know how to convert. If you have to convert just 15, you also know how to convert here. This is also very easy. Right, it doesn't throw more lights on conversion. So any of the two methods you can employ. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the sample question. It's a sample wire question. We are still on our pure physics uh physics made for pure science students. Good. So let's look at this question. So this is a typical question in pure science where you see up frost a lot, right? Good. An object weighs 10 newton. So that is the weight in air. That is 10 newton. 
Any time you are giving a question, the best thing for you to do is to list the parameters out, then quote a beneficent formula and attack the formula. That's all. 8.5 newton when totally immersed in water. So that is the weight in water. Weight in water. Let's represent a W W. When immersed in oil, 8.8 .8. weight in oil. W O. Now what is going on here? Determine the relative density. Relative density. Question mark. Now what is going on here? This is the weight in air. I think this, this is an experiment from Archimedes principle where Archimedes weighed the solid in air before gently immersing it in water or the liquid, supposed liquid, whose RD is to be determined. Good. Now what is going on here? That is the weight in water. We have 8.5. And the weight in oil is 8.8. This weight is 10 newton. But when the same weight in air or the stone entered water, it was 8.5. It means there's a loss in weight. Something is missing here. Look at the well. Maybe 1.5 newton is missing. That apparent loss in weight is what we call the upthrust. So upthrust is the upward force which holds bodies immersed in fluids or in air. So look at this. 8.8. What does it tell you? It means oil is more denser than this that is why it's a process 8.0 right it is 8.5 good so oil no wonder when you're pouring oil it flows slowly when you try pouring the same water from the same gallon it flows very fast it tells you that oil is more viscous and denser than what water so welcome to relative density so you see relative density is the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of water it's a ratio that is how come it has no units because they will cancel out. Now, these are the respective formulas we can be seeing in relative density. Density of substance over density of water, or it can be weight of substance over weight in water. Please, why is it always in comparison with water? The density of water is known. That is the value as 1000 kilogram per cubic meter or 1 gram per cm cube. So, if the density of water is not in 1000 kilogram per cubic meter, it will be in the other subunit form, which is 1 gram per cm cube. The density of water is known. That is why something is always relatively compared to water. Welcome to relative density. Now, if you have the masses, you can also use this formula. Mass of substance, mass of water. Uptrust in substance, uptrust in water. So we will look at the question where we have to use this formula. The uptrust in the substance and uptrust in water. Yes. So the formula of uptrust linking relative density is this, as you can see. So we are going to look at a question just now on this. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Determine the relative density of the oil. Now, since I have uptrust entities here, then I will use the RD formula with length uprust. And that is relative density equals uprust in oil over uptrust in water. So what is the uptrust in oil? It is the weight in air and is the weight in oil. What is the uptrust in water? It is when you have subtracted the weight of the water from the weight in air. So I have here 10 newton minus oil 8.8 .8 newton. 10 newton minus 8.5 newton. You see, relative density has no units. Why? Because it is a ratio, the units have cancelled out, as you can see. So there's the answer we are going to get. The units have cancelled out. Okay. okay. So let's look at this question too. A metal cube or a cube metal. Cube, that is four sides. Four sides equal, all sides equal. Of side 10 is fully immersed in a liquid of relative density. This cut with the uptrust experienced by the body. This 10 cm here can never be a volume. A volume term is normally in meter cube, m raised to the power 3, or cm to the power 3. That's a subunit form. So why don't I draw the cube as the first thing to do? So I draw my cube. So from menstruation cube, have all size equal. So here is 10. The breadth is also 10. The height is also 10. So there is length, breadth, height. 
Good, that was a cube. They said off side 10 centimeters, right? So all size 10. Good. So I can get my volume here. Okay, so the size of the cube are equal. 10, 10, 10, 10. I can get my volume term from here. Volume is defined as length times breadth times what height. But before I do, I have to convert this one to meter. Because you can see these are all in standards. If not, relative density has no unit. You see yourself having a unit for it. So we have to convert this one to meter. And how do we convert? Now look at the conversion. So when I have 10 cm, I will divide this way, so that is 10 over what? 100. You will get 0 0.1 meter. Good. 0 0.1 meter. The breadth will also give me the same. So 10 cm, when you convert, you get, you divide by 100, that's changing to meter, you get 0 0.1 meter. The height likewise. So here is 0 0.1 meter, 0 0.1 meter. 0 0.1 meter, right? So I'll get 1 times 10 to the power minus 3. Meter, 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 3 times. Meter was cube. So that is it. So the question is lacking the volume. Did you see the way we derived our volume? We first have to draw the cube and understand the principle that the size of the cube from integration are all equal. So when you put them together, you get a volume. Good. So calculate the abstract experience by the body. Let's follow and continue from here.